Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> Hello homebrewers and welcome to my channel. So today is 100 videos and I'd like to say thank you to all my subscribers, old and new. Uh, you guys keep me motivated and um, hopefully making original, different content. Uh, so, um, for a bit of a laugh, I basically saw a video of helium beer. And uh, while I know the science behind it is a little bit iffy, I thought I would try it myself so we can save once and for all if it works without it being faked. So um, we're going to get straight into it and enjoy the video. Cheers! So my setup is really advanced and really complicated as you may be able to tell. I've got my helium tank which I connected my siphoning tube to. Uh, it fits perfectly once I heated it up in a cup of hot water. So that's going to connect into my air bladder, or in my case my helium bladder, which is bin bags. Uh, these are really super heavy duty bin bags, so that's what I'm going to be filling with helium. Inside the bin bag I've got myself a cutting mat, which is my lovely uh, crafting cutty thing, and a foot pump which I have duct taped lovingly and caringly and very precisely to the board. That way when I'm pushing down on it, it won't cause rips in the bin bag. Now to connect it all, I've got myself basically a Coca-Cola lid and I've drilled a hole in it and put in a Schrader valve. Now Schrader valves are used in pretty much all bicycles and uh, car tyres. These have to be from car tyres. Then I've got my berry cider, which I've squeezed all the air out of, so there's no air, it's just liquid. As you can tell, it's all squishy. And it's cold. Uh, I'm hoping that the coldness will hopefully put a bit more helium inside this liquid. And that's basically the setup. Um, yeah, that, that's basically the setup. So this is the basic setup. Once it's all ready, they put together. I spent some time with some duct tape. Oh yes. So here's my board looking all lovely on the inside with my foot pump. Uh, I've made a little hole so I can see the pressure. Very useful. Uh, also sealed up this end, sealed up the tube end, and now I've got to expel the excess air out of this bag. I also reinforced this part with duct tape. Since it's going to get wear and tear, I don't want there to be tears. So uh, now is the long process of doing this a lot. Cover my nose. Pump. Hello. Hello. We have a winner. Yay. Yay winner. So we now have, uh, we've, we've purged this of air. It's now helium or vast majority just helium. So I've got my ice cold or well, almost ice cold cider. Let's connect it all up. Add a bit more helium in. This is so much fun. <laughs> Even if it doesn't work, it's so much fun. Uh, and now I'm gonna add some pressure. Let's try 40 psi. Oh, that worked rather nicely. Ooh. Okay, that was only a couple of pumps to get to 40, so let's give it a little bit more. One or two more. There, that's... Oh, wow, that was, that was violent. So this is now pressurized with our lovely helium. And uh, I've got to have a play. <laughs> There's no business like show business. Yeah! So it's been a couple of hours, uh, this has just been chilling in my fridge, my lovely fruit berry cider, lovely lovely. But yeah, it is jam packed full of helium and goodness, and uh, yeah, basically we want to replicate what it would be like to have a helium beer, so great thing is, it comes with its own valve. So I am going to stick this over the top, just in case it doesn't work, I mean, pfft, science says it won't. Let's ah, so at least we have a little bit of helium if it all goes wrong. Let's see what this has done. 
Yum, yum, yum. Eh, smells okay. Uh, well, uh, it is, it does have some helium in it, obviously. It is, well, look, it's doing something. Ooh, apart from making me belch. So that's. Uh, would I say this is heliumed? I don't know. But we do have this little bit of helium here, so... <laughs> Let's see if this is helium. I'm not entirely sure. It sounds a bit helium -y. So, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Fizzy. So there is a little bit of helium interaction going on, but not nearly enough. Oh well. Uh, back to the drawing board. I think this is a failure. But it is slightly carbonated, so technically we did do it. It just wasn't that good. It just didn't do the helium -y thing. Nah, nah. But for this time, to replicate the results so you can have helium at a party, which is awesome without the tank, I've got myself a 1.25 litre coat bottle, obviously you can use bigger, and I've got a pint's worth of liquid in it. It doesn't look like that, it looks full because, well, it's crushed. And we're going to add helium to this tank. So I've already purged my system, and I'm just going to fill it with some uh, lovely, lovely helium. And now, we're going to connect it all up and start pumping. Now move that out of the way, just in case. And uh, now we're just going to keep adding pressure. And because it's a bigger bottle, it's going to take longer to pressurize. So just keep. a lot longer. Forty PSA. Bit more. easier on the floor. Here we go. Cheeky. There we go. 50. Woo! Detach the... Uh, there we go. Yep. It is now full of helium. Uh, just to prove this point, let's have a bit of helium fun. outside with my lovely helium tank which is disguised cunningly as a bottle. Now these are really handy because you can take them to a party and no one knows what's going on, apart from the fact it's got the little valve on the top. So it would be a bit of a giveaway if you turned up with a load of helium balloons and a helium tank, which isn't really what you want. So for proof of concept, I have got my tank and I'm gonna basically have some fun with helium outside. Uh, so, take off my valve and let's see if this works. Have myself a cheeky balloon because we're going for the effects, not necessarily the beer. So let's just pop it over the top. 
And let's release some gas, if I can. Uh. Let's give it a go. So I'm outside, and it is helium. As you can hear, my voice is decidedly uh, higher, <coughs> which is pretty damn cool. And because this bottle has been pressurized to 50 psi, you're going to get a few more goes. So let's have a go. Looks so wrong, though. Hello. 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 So it is pretty, <coughs> it is pretty uh, handy to do, and there's still loads of pressure in here to do more. So I'm going to really annoy my other half. He's got the camera over there, and I'm going to make her do it. <laughs> what the that? You see, it is just a bit of a laugh. And we've got our little helium tank, which no one would know any other wiser apart from the Schrader valve. So, oh, as you can see, we had a bit of fun outside, uh, me and my other half. Uh, she was doing the recording and happened to turn off the sound for the last part, so I'm back in the house uh, where I'm in control of everything. And I've got the helium tank, which had a novel last part to it. So once we'd finished playing with the balloons and that, we still had our liquid. In this case, it's water, but it could be any liquid. It was just because I know it's going to get messy. So, And we've still got some helium left in this tank. So this is a novel result. Technically, you can have a helium drink. So I've got my liquid, as you can see, I've got my bottle, and now... As you can tell, I now have helium! So it is technically possible! <laughs> well, apart from the lack of oxygen. So, it can be replicated, but again, it's not going to be like a proper helium beer. Don't forget to rate, comment, like, subscribe and share! And thank you very much for watching! Yay!